Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. Oh, good Jen. evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Daisy. Hello, Marta. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, Milagro. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So we have Jocelyn, Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Hello, teacher. Hello, Madeline. Hello, teacher. Hello. Rain is coming in. Mirna. Miss Holt. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, just. How are you, teacher? Okay, good, nice. Waiting for the okay. rain. Esperando que llueva. Ahora llovió un ratito y se fue la lluvia. Pero dejó fresquito. Yes. Okay, so that's. Más que la calor alborota. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Pero esperando que venga más, I hope. Okay, but. That's the way it is. Okay, people. So yesterday we were listening to the chat, right? This was the, the chat. Two friends. Okay, that they are in that this chat is oof, very, very old. So it's not as the ones that we, as the one that we have now, right? That we have today. What are the chats? Uh, apps, you know, like the WhatsApp is uh, the application for chatting. But we also have the other one, which is the, the Telegram, right? Telegram is another uh, application that we can use for, for chatting. Uh, also, you have the Google. Okay, in Google, you can... Okay. Interesting. Uh -huh. and then you can have, for example, Google Chats. And then, what is another one? Google, WhatsApp, Telegram, and the Messenger. Okay, Messenger is another one that you can also use for, for the chat, right? So then, and there are others, right? There are some others maybe that they are not very popular, but probably the one. The number one now that we have is WhatsApp. Okay, so then uh, in this case, they were chatting, you see, for example, a long time ago, uh, we had to go to, to the, this lady mentions here. Yes. Let me... Hi everyone. In this class, you'll read O'Brien chat online. And she mentions here that um, say, I mean, I, okay, here. It says, I'm in an internet cafe with my friend, Carmen. So you see the long time we have to go to the cyber cafes. Remember the cyber cafe, uh, cafe where you had to go and pay the, for the rent of the computer or the internet for one hour or depend on the time that you wanted to, to navigate, right? But now it's, it's easier because you know you can do it from your house. No, well, we can do it from the not only the house. We can have the cell phone. Okay, in the cell phone we can chat in the street. You can chat in the in the bathroom, in the bedroom, at work. Okay, in the bus, wherever we are. So there is more connection, right? More connection. Sometimes the connection is not really good. You know, sometimes it's a little bit bad, right? But in some other cases, most of the time, the connection is good. Okay, so then this is, for example, the talking about connections, internet, chats. Okay, now we're going to, to move to the knowledge check. It says, listen and read the conversations 
then respond with the name of the person doing the activity. Okay, and then for example, we have some question, who is writing an essay? Okay, who is writing an essay? And then we have to use the names such as uh, Meg or Kathy, okay? And then who is, then you have the two options. Well, we have a lot of options. Kathy, Meg, Martin, John O'Brien, Kathy's mother, Kathy's father, Carmen, all the options. And then you have number two, who is having coffee or who is drinking coffee? Who is reading a magazine? Who is reading a magazine? Uh, who is working outside? Uh, who is shopping? Who is playing soccer? Okay, so you have these six questions and then we have the different options. Okay, so first we're going to listen again. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. Then we have some questions. Remember this question, right? Who is writing? Okay, this is the one that you have to practice. Who is writing? Okay, who is writing is? Quien está escribiendo, right? An essay. Who is writing an essay? Yeah, and then you say, for example, who is writing an essay? An essay is an, un ensayo, right? It's a, un ensayo tiene cinco paragraphs, dependiendo de de lo que le asigne el maestro, right? You have to write sobre un tema and then you have to write five or six paragraphs, depending. So who is writing an essay? Kathy O'Brien, Meg Martin, John O'Brien, Kathy's mother, Kathy's father, or Carmen? Kathy O'Brien. Kathy O'Brien. All right. O'Brien. O'Brien, yes, O'Brien. Who is having who's having coffee? Mayor Martin. Uh, Matt Martin. Okay. Carmen. Okay. Who is reading a magazine? Carmen. Mm, Carmen, Carmen. Carmen. Magazine. You can see the picture. Carmen here. Okay. Who is working outside? Kathy's father. Kathy's father. That is Kathy's father. Okay. Who is shopping? 
Hati mother. Hati mother. Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother here shopping. And who is playing soccer? John O'Brien. John O'Brien. There you go. Okay, John O'Brien. So you see that when we are using the questions, uh, who, then we are um, expecting the name of a person, right? Who is para hablar de personas, people, okay? Who, quien, okay? For example, who is writing? Who is smiling? Who is listening? Who is learning English? Okay, who is speaking? Who is uh, working? Who is uh, playing the guitar? Okay, we can ask, quien está haciendo cualquier cosa, right? So there is no, uh, this is, this kind of questions are good to, to practice a vocabulary and to practice verbs in English, right? For example, when you say, who is uh, listening to me? Who is paying um, attention? Who's paying attention? Okay, I am paying attention. Who is working? I say, I am working. Who is uh, listening to me? And you are listening to me. Okay. And we can see here that all the answers are correct. Who is writing an essay? Kathy O'Brien. Who's having coffee? Having is similar to, to drinking, okay? Then you can say, who's having coffee? Meg Martin. Who is drinking coffee? Meg Martin. Uh, who is reading a magazine? Carmen. Who is working outside? Kathy's father. Who is shopping? Kathy's mother. Who is playing soccer? John O'Brien. Right. Questions? Any questions? Pronunciation? No problem? Okay, good. No problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we're going to... Okay, this was the knowledge check. Now we're going to go quickly over the... Okay, this is for example, the, the test, right? This is the test. Uh, always remember that I always recommend you to if you cannot play from here to open another window. Then you can listen. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. And they One. Your name is interesting, Justine. Are you French? No, I'm not. Are you Italian? No, I'm Canadian. You're from Canada? Yes. My family is from Montreal originally. Two. Okay. So from that information, you, you pick up, you select your answer, right? And then you can tell, for example, where that person is from. And then you can tell, you say, where is Justin from? Okay. And you say, she's, then you have three options. Okay. Canada. She's from Canada, right? The information says that because the, the teacher or the person asks, are you from France? Are you French? No. Then she said that she's from Canada, right? Montreal. And that's the one. good. So you have to eliminate some information. Where's Mike? Uh, Mike? I don't know him. He's my friend from school. He's a little quiet. Oh, is he serious? Actually, no, he's not. He's very funny. Three. 
Wow. Very funny. Okay, what about Mike? What is Mike like? Remember, Mike is the, the description of Mike's personality, right? What is the description? He is very warm and sunny, a little quiet, but very funny, or he's a little quiet and very serious. He's, very funny. Mm -hmm. he's a little quiet, he's very funny. but he's very funny. Very funny. Okay. Uh -huh, you say funny, sunny. Okay, funny, sunny. Sunny and cold, right? Only. The other one, what is the weather like? Oh, it's he really can. warm today. Yes, Kelly. it sure is. And it's sunny too. No, it's not. Look, it's raining. Oh, oh well. Four. Hey, sir. So yes. Who wanted to ask a question? Alguien quiere preguntar? No? No, no, sorry. Okay, no problem. How about number three? It's raining. It's uh, raining. It's raining. It's raining. Yes. Yes. It's it's it raining. raining, but it's warm. Okay. Wow. Nice pronunciation. Very good. Excellent. Okay. What about the next one? It's Sue wearing a blue dress. Sue, how are you? Great, Phil. How about you? I'm okay. Hey, you look great. That's a nice suit. Thanks. It's new. Um, where's Ms. Collins? Uh, she's right over there. She's wearing a blue dress. Oh, I see her. Thanks. Is Sue wearing a blue dress? No, she's not. She's not wearing a suit. Okay. Yes, Martha, what do you say? Repeat, Martha. No chairs, no. Huh? No, she's not. She's wearing a suit. Swim a suit. She's wearing a suit. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. So we go for this one. Okay, good. Now let's see. Okay, good. So those are the correct answers, right? So this is how you can uh, do the, the exercise, the listening and everything, right? Good. Okay, just perfect. Now, no problem with the listening, no problem with the boxes. The other one is the write the questions for this one. Okay. Ay, teacher, yo sí tuve problemas con ese. Ajá, yes, vi que algo no me yo estaba también. Eh, preguntando. En la segunda, teacher, eh, bueno, todo me salía yeah. bien, pero esa segunda traté, pero creo que es mi laptop, que hay una tecla que no me funciona bien, entonces lo hice en el teléfono y sí me agarró en el teléfono. Okay. Entonces, por eso es que no me salía correcta, pero gracias por la ayuda. Thanks. Okay, no problem. Hello, teacher. Yes. Fíjese que a mí me pasa algo extraño. Estuve tratando de, de hacer, no, pero no es de ese, teacher. Ahí va a disculpar no, que meta. No, no, no. Que, dale, dale. Eh, es uno donde hay que marcar las, las horas. Ajá. Fíjese de que yo marcaba, porque ahí dice marcar las dos, eh, supuestamente dos correctas, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y yo marcaba las dos correctas y no me salía bueno. Eh, bueno, ya, ya, vamos a, ya, ya voy a llegar a ese, a ese ejercicio. Creo que es el siguiente, si mal no recuerdo. Que lo estoy viendo ahora. Y ya vamos a ver. Porque a veces con un detallito que se marque, puede hacer que no sea esa. Podría ser. Este, pero bueno. ya, vamos, ya lo vamos a chequear ahorita. 
Ok, teacher. Me que escuchamos de una vez, porque a veces, como decía, eh, hey, Jenny, este, por ejemplo, a veces uno puede, eh, una tecla o un, a veces una, los, los apóstrofes que son para hacer contracciones, eh, en algunos casos eh, va de, como de izquierda a derecha, así, y en otros casos aparece así. Entonces, eh, a veces hasta ese pequeño detalle, eh, lo, lo marca como, 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 que no, como que está equivocada la respuesta. Ok, y acá no me deja a mí, estoy aquí. Ok, what is this one? What did you write in this one? This one's are they, right? Are they from England? Are they from England? Yes, are they from England? The capital letter. Okay, good. Hang on, this one. Where are you from? This is where are you from? Okay, and the question mark. Ah, the question mark. A veces viene se le olvida uno, a veces esto could be. What else? I think she's 22. How old is she? How old is she? Mm -hmm. How old is she? And the question mark. And in the next one. Is your first language Spanish? No. Oh. oh, yes, yes. I was checking the other one. Is your first language Spanish and the question mark and the next one are you Japanese are you esta si es un poco okay. are you From are you Japanese? Aquí solo va la, el gentilicio, right? Are you Japanese? Here we go. Okay, and there you have. Are they from England? Where are you from? How old is she? Is your first language Spanish? Yes, and are you Japanese? Eh, solo quería chequear algo acá, déjenme ver. England. Si sí, igual se los marca, no hay ningún problema. Where are you from? Se ponen minúsculas también. La acepta, no hay problema. Right. How old is. Entonces creo que, por ejemplo, acá en esta. Sí, no problem. Are you. Ah, esta, por ejemplo, are you from Japan? Are you from Japan? Esta no. Ok, aunque se puede decir, yes, I'm Japanese, I'm from Tokyo. Pero acepta lo que es nada más la, el gentilicio, right? Are you Japanese? Aunque la otra esté correcta. Sí, teacher, porque... Yo ya había, ya había escrito así y no me lo me salía incorrecto. Ajá, exacto, porque las, las opciones que le han dejado a la respuesta, entre las opciones que le han dejado, no pusieron eso. Entonces, por el que no la acepto. Ok. Lo que sí creo, ah, lo otro, pero lo que sí creo que acepta, acepta quiero ver si lo ponen minúsculas. Sí, bueno. Aunque tienen que ir con mayúsculas, pero si por alguna razón no se ponen, lo acepta, pero la otra no. Ok. Miren, lo bueno de esto es que, que se practican las diferentes opciones, right? And then that's the, that's the answer. Ok, the next one is the... 
Ah, no, dice de adjectives. Creo que la de los relojes. No, todavía no hemos llegado. Ok, so this one is Larry isn't serious. He is. What is the opposite of serious? What is the opposite, the contrary? The opposite of serious. What is the opposite, the contrary? Funny. 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 Uh, Jen is really is a really good student. She's very it's smart. Smart is a synonym of intelligent. Good student. Stay. Uh -huh. Stay. My teacher or she tall. The opposite. My brother is good looking. Is awesome. Handsome. Handsome. Synonym of good looking. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, sometimes if you have. Okay, good. What do you have? Here you have uh, the opposite, lo contrario, right? And then you have a synonym, the opposite and a synonym, good looking and handsome. No problem with that one. Teacher, yes? I have a question. Go ahead. Good looking, mm -hmm. good looking significa guapo. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, se puede decir good looking. Y, que se puede decir... y handsome no es lo mismo. Podríamos decir que good looking es como simpático y handsome es más como guapo, pero los dos tienen que ver algo con que se ve bien la persona. La diferencia es que, por ejemplo, mm. eh, good looking, usted podría decir que a alguien que, ah, una chica, she's, she's looking good, she's good looking, tiene como una buena apariencia. ¿verdad? Y cuando dice handsome es directamente a la, a, digamos, a lo, a lo físico de la persona, es, decir, es para hombres, right? que es guapo. Como decir pretty. Uh, she's pretty es para la mujer, right? She's pretty. Ella está muy. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Now, in this one, you have to correct the answers to the questions. Choose the correct answer to the question. You say, a sit Sue's scar. Is this of a scar you have maybe their cat is? No, it's not hers, it's mine. Okay, this is the possessive, okay? Is this Sue's scarf? Then you have this one. No, it's not hers, it's mine. Okay, so this is the possession. You... Ivania, you brought something like an example. Okay. No, it's not. Uh -huh. The other one is, uh, whose book are these? This is... Echara que estoy. Perdón, Ivania. La andaba buscando. La andaba buscando, teacher, para que estoy. Okay, no, es que que había puesto un ejemplo. Number two. Number two. Number two. Maybe they're cat, catty. Maybe the good books are those, maybe they're cats, right? Yes. Okay. Are these Lisa's gloves? Are these Lisa's gloves? Yes, they're hers. Yes. They're hers. They hers. And whose hat? Yes, they hers. Yes, they're hers, correct. Whose hat is this? I think, I think it's yours. I think it's yours, yes. 
Then are these Peter's and Kathy's coats? No, they aren't. They're, they're ours. They're ours. Okay. Now, do you have any questions about this answers? We say, no, they aren't theirs. For example, look, this is what we use in Spanish, right? Are these Peter's and Kathy's coats? Son estos los abrigos de Peter y Kathy? And they say, no, no son de ellos. No, they aren't theirs. They're ours. Son de nosotros, right? So we use this a lot in Spanish, right? So you say, they're ours. So it's very commonly and frequently used. All right, uh, then, yeah, okay, they are all correct. And this question is, I use the correct continuous tense form, form of the verb. You have, for example, are you wearing jeans? No, for example, this one is not correct because it is missing am. No, I wear a suit. Ahí le falta el am is incorrect. No, I'm wearing a suit. This is correct. And they have no, I am wears. Tendría que el wears, tendría que decir wearing. Okay, ing, pero no lo dice, so it's incorrect. So the correct one is, El sujeto, I, el verbo to be, am, um, is, or are, wearing, with ing, e, y lo que se está usando, right? No, I'm wearing a suit. Next question is, is Mrs. Sims wearing a tie? For example, no, he is wearing a tie. No tiene sentido, porque estamos hablando. ¿Está eh, usando corbatas? No. Él está usando corbata, right? Makes no sense. Eh, no, I am not wearing a tie. No está hablando de mí. It's Mr. Sims. No, I'm not. So, no, he isn't wearing a tie. Then that one is more logical, right? To say, no, he isn't wearing a tie. Okay. No questions in this moment? No teacher. Okay, perfect. Estaré viendo teacher. también. Y viendo el por qué también las respuestas no son, ¿verdad? Eh, are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Yes, he is. Estamos hablando de Ed and Sue. No solo de él, right? Not he. The next one is, no, they're not. It's very hot. This could be. No, there, aquí le falta la Y. Is incorrect. Then the correct answer is no, they're not. No están usando shirts porque está muy caliente. Then we have, is it raining? Esta, esta pregunta, pregunta, no. pregunta real, de realidad. ¿Está lloviendo y dónde están ustedes? Is it raining? No. no. It's not raining. It is warm. Okay, and it's here I no, it's not raining. Aquí fíjate aquí donde estoy, no, it's not raining, it's snowing. Está nevando. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, pero no, eso es lo que yo quisiera. Okay, but they are correct. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. It's, no, wait a minute. No, it's not raining. Okay, this is the one. No, it's not raining, it's snowing. Okay, de acuerdo al ejercicio. Pero no aquí, right? Okay. Okay, este es el que me decía Samuel. Okay, tenemos, what time is it? And the first one says, 10 to, it's 10 to seven. And it's 6.50. 
Okay, those are the two correct answers in the number one. I don't know, not submit yet. Okay, in the number two. No, that was the number one. Number two. And in the number three. It's 10 to seven. It's. No, the number three. Wait a minute, this is. It is A45. Uh -huh. Or it, it a quarter to nine. It's a quarter to nine. Okay. Okie dokie. It's ten. It's a quarter. It's a quarter to nine. A quarter to nine here. Yes. And eight forty-five, right? And the other one. It's five past eleven. Yes. It's eleven oh five. Eleven oh five. And that's it. Right. Okay, which ones did you choose, Samuel? What teacher? ¿Qué respuestas dio en las que usted en en la que hizo de los no están los clocks about the time? En la primera es donde yo le daba en el primero y en el tercero parece, porque dice selección de dos, verdad? Yes, correct. Y, y no me la aceptaba. Mm. Bueno, a veces tal vez podría ser en algunos momentos que la plataforma se ponga lenta. Podría dar a veces el caso por el internet o algo que a veces grave podría ser. Pero sí, ahorita esas son las que marcamos en no problem. La primera, la tercera. Then in the number three. The second and the fourth. And uh, number four, one and two, the first and the second. Okay, and it shows no problem. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Pero, eh, ¿y al final le, le mar se las marcó bien? O... Sí, bueno. ahí, este, ahí estuve viendo cómo hacer con, con ayuda, por, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Y, pero gracias a Dios ya. Ya, ya voy ahí contestando, voy a ver cuántas me hacen falta para terminarlo hoy, porque okay. según veo, dicen que hay que mandarlo el día de hoy. Por lo menos tener hasta el 80% ahora, según vi en el, en el, en el chat, ¿verdad? tener por lo menos el 80% completo de, de todo el curso. O sea, si falta algo, creo que, te, creo que tienen un chancecito para mañana, para aún terminarlo. Ok, ¿y cómo van? Aunque ahí, aunque ahí decía que hasta la medianoche teníamos. Sí, hoy, ajá. pero por, ajá, por, ahí, por lo menos al 80, ¿verdad? o sea, no menos de yeah, eso. Ok, okay teacher, yes. thank you. Yes. Que no se vayan a tener. Eh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Jenny. Este, y vaya, lo que no entiendo yo es que lo, lo, todo lo finalizamos, todo el examen, y lo tenemos que enviar a dónde? ¿Algún lugar específico o cómo? Ah, no, mira, así como yo acá, si yo lo hice submit aquí, ya esto queda registrado, como les mostré la vez pasada, aquí en mi progress. Ellos van a revisar allá porque ah. yo todo esto. Mira cómo está el mío. Ah. Así. Ah, ok. Y ahí okay. ven acá, por ejemplo, veamos, veamos cómo estoy yo, a ver si no me, a ver si no me reprueban. Entonces aquí tengo final. El 70, ups, estamos 70%. O sea que. Ah, bueno, ok, pues ya, entiendo. Ya, ya sí, esa era, eh, uh -huh. esa era mi duda: que si íbamos a mandarlo no. en algo específico. No, y aquí, mira, porque a mí ya me sale el 100%. Ah, pues ya estuvo. Ya puede, lo que puede ah, ver okay. es que tiene su, su diploma. Ya puede imprimirlo incluso o, o bajarlo para que le quede. Este, a mí no me sale eso de los diplomas, 
pero a ustedes sí les va a salir ahí. Este, por ejemplo, si ve acá, como acabo de terminar todo el examen, me aparece el 100%. Pero en el midterm, por ejemplo, como lo hice en el ejercicio, solo el 12. Entonces yo ahorita, a mí ahorita me falta el 10% para aprobar el curso. ¿Ok? Entonces, si mm, bueno. okay. en el final abajo, entonces es porque algo le falta y aquí pueden ver en estas barras. Por ejemplo, yo puedo ver que aquí en el homework de la sección 3 no los completé. Eh, aquí en el, también en el homework 5, o sea, estas todas las me faltan. Todas las que no han llegado hasta aquí a la línea de arriba del 100. Entonces podemos regresar ahí y las pueden hacer antes de la medianoche para que este porcentaje que yo tengo aquí del 70 suba. ¿Ok? Así que no, usted ya lo haga. Eso ah, lo bueno. haga si no hay más que hacer. Ya automáticamente ellos verán la, el, los resultados. Right? Una pregunta. Ok. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, de la sección 2.10. Eh, la última pregunta no me, no me agarra. ¿De la sección de ayer? Ah, no, de la sección 2.10. 2.10. De las 2.10, vamos a ver. Ah, ¿dónde está? Sí. Ah. Aquí está el 2. Ok, 2. Vean cómo se pone de lento a esta hora. Aquí ahorita, exacto, 10. ¿Está de acá? Ajá, bueno. La número... La número 6. Ah, le puse de, de muchas formas y no me lo... ¿Esta? Puse, In front of... Sí, dice el font is. Ajá, in front of the address book. In front of the book address, le puse yo. In front? In front. In, in front the book address. No, ajá, tiene que ser address book. Oh. El, el directorio es como el adjetivo. Entonces, oh, no, no. antes tiene que ser address book. Entonces, puede ser que el resto esté bien, pero en esa palabrita dice, mire, puede poner in front of the address book y lo puede poner separado o lo puede poner unido, así como está acá. O oh, in front of the address book con, o lo puede poner todo en mayúsculas, pero es in front of the address book. Okay. No book address, ajá. Ahí, ahí in, está el error entonces, por eso es. In, in front in the book. In front of. In front of. The address. Okay. Se, lo voy, okay. se lo voy a poner ahí en el chat. Where's the chat? Bueno, que ahorita mi misma computadora me está boicoteando. Okay, where is it? They move. Ok, en front of the address book. Gracias, teacher. Welcome. Ok. Good. Any other question? Um, no, teacher, it's clear. Ok, perfect. <laughs> nice, people. So we're going to. This one, good. So now we're going to practice with questions, right? Eh, aparentemente lo de las preguntas es como, como lo más fácil, ¿verdad? pero eso es a veces lo más difícil. What are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? Okay, what do you do? What do you do? Okay. Where do you work? 
where do you work? Okay. You see these questions? What do you do? What is what do you do? Can tell them for what do you do? What? Yes, what are you doing? And what do you do? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Uh, for example, uh, what do you do in the morning? In the morning, I take a shower. Oh, hey. Qué buen hábito. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Every day. Every day, yes. What do you do? Okay, ¿qué hace en la mañana? What do you do in the morning? Okay. What do you do in the morning? ¿Qué hace en la mañana? I take a shower. Okay, me doy una ducha. I take a shower. Okay. Y ahí podemos hacer el do. Ya le estoy dando un pedacito de lo que viene después de inglés. What do you What do you eat? For lunch. Okay, what do you eat for lunch? ¿Qué comen el almuerzo? Esto es algo como algo cotidiano, algo que uno hace normalmente. Okay, what do you eat for lunch? I eat sand. A sandwich. Chicken forever. Pancakes. Chicken forever. <laughs> yes. Pancakes. I eat. Okay. I eat a uh, coffee. A uh, chicken. Chicken sandwich. Me. Eh? Yo me como un emparedado, un sandwich de pollo para el almuerzo. What do you eat for lunch? I eat a chicken sandwich. Okay? So this is what do you eat? La diferencia en what do you eat es lo que se hace normalmente, usualmente, siempre. Y el otro es what are you, what are you doing now? Teacher. Yes. Para decir huevos revueltos en inglés. Scramble scramble eggs. Huevos revueltos. Ahí está en el chat. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, ven la diferencia entre what are you doing now and what do you do, ¿verdad? Es, what are you doing now? Es, ¿qué está haciendo ahora en este momento? Y el, what do you do? ¿Qué hace? ¿Ok? ¿Qué hace todos los días? ¿Qué hace en la mañana? ¿Qué hace en la tarde? ¿Ok? Whatever. ¿Ok? No problem. And then you have also the, the question with the... The yes, no question, right? Are you a doctor? Okay, esas son todas las eh, preguntas que hemos visto, excepto la de what do you do? Pero are you wearing, are you wearing shoes? Are you wearing a dress? Are you wearing shirt? Are you wearing a shirt uh -huh, or shorts? Yes, exactly, right? So these are the questions. 
Good. Now, uh, this is, for example, the kind of questions that we practice almost uh, every day, right? This is very common and frequently used in English, all these expressions. I don't know if se me escapado alguna de las que hemos practicado. Uh, let me see. Let me check. Teacher del plural y singular. Plural. Uh, when we have, for example, our. Then. Are these your books? Uh -huh. Okay, are these your books? Son estos sus libros, right? Or in singular, is this your book? Ah, bueno, voy a responder esa. Are these your books? Then you say, yes, they are. Negative. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay. No, they aren't. So that's the negative one. In the firm, in the in the singular, we say, "Is this book? Is this book yours?" Okay. Then you say, "Yes." It is, or in the negative, you say no. It um, it isn't right. Okay. No, it isn't. Okay. What else? <clears throat> Any other question that we're missing? Okay, so then I'm going to, okay, like we did last time. Vamos a probar con, uh, ask me questions, okay. Háganme ustedes todas las preguntas que se les vengan a la mente, right? Y vamos a, let me see, here we're going to use, uh, let me see, what's the name of this guy? Mm. Voy a cambiar mi nombre, aquí como vamos, y ustedes van a hacer preguntas, adivinar la personalidad, ok? Hoy tienen una serie de preguntas, de todo pueden hacer, ok? to guess my new name. Just let me write it down here. We're going to use, uh, okay, Rocky, uh, someone that is very famous. Um, okay, got it. <laughs> De cualquier pregunta, teacher. De cualquier, right? <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Ya puse yo ahí en el chat, solo que cuando ustedes adivinen, para que vean. Veamos. Are you free? Are you? Are you free? Creo que sí es. Free. Yes. Are you free? Free. De libre. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, free, eh, pero en qué, en qué sentido? De que no estoy preso. <laughs> Quiero yeah. ver, espérame. Uh -huh. Are you free in your home? Oh, yes, I am. Yes. Teacher. Yes. How old are you? Yes, uh, repeat, please. How old are you? What? Yes. No. Who old are you? Uh, who? Who old are you? 
Uh, how old? How old are you? Y my goodness, quiero ver esa, esa personalidad, probably forty, eh, fifty, maybe entre los cuarenta y cinco, cincuenta, maybe forty five, fifty, I guess. Okay. Hey, teacher. Um, no problem. What time is it, teacher? <laughs> it's five to nine. Okay. Ah, 49, 49 years old. Okay. Okay. 49 años tengo. De acuerdo a esa personalidad. 49. Teacher, ¿Ah? you are serious? Serious. You mm. are serious? Yes, the appearance in the of this personality, yes. Yes, I am. I am serious. Teacher. Yes. What is your last name? Mm, my last name. If I tell you what I don't even know. Dwayne. What is your color favorite? Uh, black. Okay. Why you? You will remind me, old teacher. Um, I don't know. Probably yes. Probably not. Ah. Oh. Depends on yes. That depends on the depends on the administration. Yes. Uh, okay, but if I can, no problem, hopefully. Okay, what else? One more. What is your material status? Marital status, mm, okay, merit. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Where do you, where do you live? In Hollywood. Sure. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh my God. You are the rock. Oh, yes, Brandon. Yes, that's correct. Yes, I am the rock. Okay. I was the, that was my new, my new personality. Okay, good. So you see, this is, for example, what do you do? What is your marital status? How old are you? Where are you from? Where do you live? And what's your favorite color? Okay, are, is black your favorite color? Is blue your favorite color? Okay, uh, practicing this uh, form or this uh, type of uh, question is very important, right? Because it's very common and you think in English to generate conversations. All right. Any other question? No? Okay. Well, people yeah, then, yeah. okay, so this is the, well, this, today's the end. This is the end of the course, right? We finished today. Congratulations for the effort that you are making i know that it's not easy for you to not to work and be here at this time listening to the teacher only speaking and speaking and then you're listening a veces no dormimos pero yo como digo yo como ya aprendí a hablar dormido a, a escribir dormido okay so bueno pero el cansancio a veces sí yo sé que ustedes lo lo viven también okay después de trabajar y el esfuerzo que hacen pero igual felicidades las felicito Eh, hay que seguir con esa, el, sin tener miedo de practicar, ¿verdad? O sea, ustedes aviéntense que es la única forma de aprender a pronunciar y hablar inglés es hablando. Si quieren andar en bicicleta, a pedalear, ¿verdad? porque si no, no aprenden. ¿Ok? ¿Que me, ¿Miedo a que se va a caer? Pues sí. ¿Miedo a que se va a equivocar hablando inglés? Pues sí, pues ya, todo es así. Los niños pequeños cometen un montón de errores que no le cuesta entender. ¿verdad? Que, ah, ni te entiendo, mono, andate, anda a sentarte. ¿verdad? Pero poco a poco se va, se va mejorando. Así que, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations. It was a pleasure for me. Okay, si nos volvemos a ver. En thank el... you, teacher. 
Thank you. Bienvenidos. Es un no, excelente teacher. Nos, nos veremos más adelante, ¿verdad? Espero que llegue por, hey, llegue por el nivel. Excelente teacher. Bien, voy a por el nivel 15 y todavía estén por acá y los poda, nos podamos ver. Excelente teacher. Okay. Teacher. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Excelente Thank teacher. You. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank bye. You. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.